Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. Okay, folks. Now, my first... My first guest uh, calls himself a finger fitness expert, and to the best of my knowledge, he's the only one of, of the kind. At least we have not run into no. any before. And his, in his quest for uh, a finger fluidity, <laughs> we invited him here to share his knowledge. Would you welcome, he's from Hamilton, Ohio. Would you welcome Greg Irwin? Greg? <laughs> Okay, how many times do people fall down laughing when you tell them you're a finger exercise finger expert? Finger fitness expert. Finger well, fitness expert. Uh, finger fitness is an exercise program for the hands. The same yeah. as a con an athlete conditions his hand to yeah. play a sport. Let me, why don't I just show you one, and then sure. maybe we know what we're talking about. Just put your hands together like this, all right? And everybody knows how to fold their fingers, just right. back and forth, yeah. okay? All right, what I do uh, with music, I'm a musician actually, is learn how to isolate each fold. For instance, okay, put your hands up like this. Yeah. Now, this one, yeah. one, two, very good, and back up. Yeah. And the next one, one, yeah. two, and we just go down. This is a good one to start off. And after you work on it just a little bit, you can... Uh, Look at this. Just work. Uh, this is single isolation. You can do two at a time, which would be like that. That's weird looking. <laughs> It looks like a mechanical thing you've got working there. Well, it's developing the, the finger-thought connection now. How did this start? Why did you... Well, actually, nine years ago, when I was getting my degree in music in my university, yeah. I uh, had to learn how to play the piano. And in my spare time, I took, like, natural motions, just bending your fingers, and thought if I could isolate, yeah. make my hands more efficient. You've got to be careful on so this So you one. bend each... <laughs> that I can, I can, can bend can in you, here. That's pretty good. Can yeah. you, uh, like, two at a time like this? Yeah, two, three... Every other? You want to try that one? Gee. <laughs> and if you, if you have better control with your hands and make them more efficient, you can pick up the piano faster. Yeah. Uh, for athletes, uh, it builds hand strength, dexterity, so it makes your hands more flexible. That's weird. Um, for athletes, for typists, yeah. it would be good in physical education. So it's, it's Cab something... Cab drivers? Anybody. Yeah. Uh, trapeze artist. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it seems to be something... Since we use our hand for everything, that we overlook the conditioning of the hands. Yeah. And uh, so that's... that also strengthen your... Strengthens thinking? your hands, uh, independence of the fingers, and better <laughs> flexibility. <laughs> See, just like this. That's weird. Uh, what I do is just try and break down the different isolation. That's pretty good. How often do you have to practice this? Well, the thing that's nice about finger fitness is like jogging or <laughs> jogging or swimming. Excuse me for laughing. I'm sorry. I don't know. Sorry. A lot of people laugh. I think it's important about finger fitness, yes, something, but go ahead. The thing that's nice about finger fitness is you can do it while you're watching your show, while you're watching TV, um, on a bus, here or you there. You do that on a bus? Well, you kind of have to watch it yeah, on a I mean, bus. Yeah, But, um... How does your, you're married? Yes, I am. Do you do this? Now, how does your wife uh, relate to this? Well, sometimes I mean, it gets on her nerves here. a little bit, you know, for, uh... You know, she doesn't like me to do it in public. Uh, yeah, I can... She got a point there. But, um... Do, people, do people come to you for courses? I mean, or... Well, I have put together a book on finger fitness, and uh, mainly it's for musicians, but athletes and just anybody who needs better hand control. What else can you show us here now? You've got some exercises, I understand, some other things you do? Uh, let's see, there's a, a couple different things. You can, um... Let's see, you can... This is what I call finger shuffling. You take a hand... One hand like this. Okay, we'll go like this. The other hand, just put it right like this. Yeah. Okay, what we do is you pull your hands apart. Yeah. Tuck this finger. Uh, tuck your index. Here you go. Put this one out. Put them back together. Just, just like that. There you go. You kind of bring your palms together. And then what I do is proceed down each one, just like this. If you can see that very well. <laughs> or like two at a time. This is double shuffling. <laughs> Really weird. I've never, never seen that before. Somebody said you did something with a coin or something. Sure, I uh, I know you're pretty good. You're, aren't you a magician? Is I used to, yeah, I do a little magic. Okay, don't you roll quarters and things like that? I used to a long time ago. You mean on the back of the? A lot of people know how to do this one, but uh, finger roll. That's kind of yeah. Yeah, magicians. This is great for magicians. Yeah. Let me show you a quarter walk, and I'll challenge you. This is a great trick if you ever need to make somebody a bet. You just take a quarter, and just simply, <laughs> just like that. Now you take your two outside fingers, yeah, and simply make a little basket and just just walk it along like that. 
Is there a lot of call for this, Greg? <laughs> well, uh... This is the kind of stuff you'd win bar bets with, right? <laughs> that, that's a great bar trick. No, I, all right, now I can get it between the fingers, there but where's my problem? Just simply walk it. Just... <laughs> my other fingers want to come back up there. All right. <laughs> now, well, you get your feet on the ground that, there. Right? It's kind of tough. Yes, and then you walk over. Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. Okay. Uh, there's another one. Uh, if I could... Let me, let me see the, the pencil thing. What do you do? Pencil push-ups. You do a lot of tricks with pencils, don't yeah, you? Or well, you're I just quick? throw them around. Okay, here. Let me see if I can challenge you to pencil push-ups. If you take a pencil like this mm -hmm. and put your fingers on every other side, just like that. Yeah. You got it there? Every other side like that. Now all you do is start switching one at a time. Just, just like oh, this. Oh, you've got to go this you way and take that one back in and that one. Just like this. <laughs> Now, when we come back, <laughs> that, takes a, that takes time. When we come back, you're going to do a little ballet type of thing somebody uh, said you do? It's a new art form, putting finger motion together with music called finger ballet. Okay, and folks, you stay soon. Finger ballet, get those VCRs cranked up. It really felt like a dream. I couldn't believe my fingers weren't shaking worse than they were, and I made it to a commercial. Then Johnny says, get those VCRs cranked up. I'll never forget that. Thanks, everybody, who's helped Finger Fitness go so far. Okay, now, if you just, uh, if you just tuned in, this is Greg Irwin, who is a uh, finger fitness expert, and after showing us all these little exercises, you're now going to do what you call finger ballet. That's correct. We have a little, uh, little stage here, and uh, you have your little leotards on your hands, uh, so you uh, you have your music ready? I think the music should be ready. All right, yes. finger ballet, folks. That's novel. I've never seen anything like that. Thank you very much. Have you got one quick thing now you can one do? One quick thing. Okay. One hand to clapping. Can you clap with one hand? You get out of here. One hand. Just clap with one hand. It's a good way to get a hand for yourself oh. anyway, right? <laughs> okay, this is a new thing. <laughs> Wait a minute here. This is a new thing. It's kind of like air guitars, air drums. It's air hands. You can act. I know you're a drummer. Kind of, you don't have a drum set around. Kind of. Crazy. That's crazy. Good thanks for being here. Thanks so much. Thanks, Mike. Bring her. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, is our band on top of things. <laughs> just like that. I got the whole got the whole world in his hands, just like that. Every time I see an act like that, it's poor Ed Sullivan. He would would love that, right? And now finger ballet, our <laughs> shape. Thanks, Johnny, for giving me my first big break. You were the best.